Hello everyone, my name is Janae. Welcome to Diamond Painting Reviews by Janae. Today's video, we're going to be doing a full post review on the painting below. But before we do that, I'm going to review this painting here. I have started it. And what you're seeing here is the Hula Can painting that I got um, during their sale. And this is an LED diamond painting kit. It is beautiful. It's a Christmas scene. And I've got about a quarter of it done, so I'm about right here. And I'm hoping to get to about right there. I want to get into, you know, the halfway mark. And I started working on this yesterday after my live. And I've, I've got quite a bit of progress going on here. Now, there is quite a bit of color blocking. If you like paintings with color blocking, this will be a really nice painting for you to do. But I did want to bring up a couple of things that I've come across. And that is, there are two symbols on here that are extremely similar and they're the same color. So if you do this type of painting or this particular painting in general, you need to watch out for those because uh, there was a couple of times that I thought it was one symbol and it was actually the other. I'm going to pause the camera zoom it in so that you can actually see what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna do that in just a minute. Also, for those of you that have followed me, you know I like to swap out drills and put crystals in here. So that's what I've been doing. I'm really excited to show you that as well. So by saying that, let's pause the camera and bring you down. I'm gonna go over the drill field and show you those two symbols that mm, are a little bit questionable. So, We'll be right back. All right, everyone, we're back. And let me show you those two symbols. And I'm going to have to lift this up a bit. So here we go. Perfect example right here. I'm going to just steady my arm here. Now, if you can see where those symbols, it looks like um, a nuclear sign right here. Sorry, just moving my finger the wrong direction. So right here. See where it's got that nuclear sign there? But if you go a little bit farther right there, you've got three dots. And they're right next to each other. And they're basically the same exact color. So that is the one thing. And I'm so sorry that I'm moving around. There we go. Um, that is the one thing I wanted to point out. If this is something that you are interested in doing, you're going to really need to pay attention to those two symbols. The other symbols seem to be perfectly fine. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to bring this back down. And I, again, apologize for the wobbly hand. I haven't eaten yet and I'm getting kind of hungry. So we're just going to bring this down. But before we bring it all the way down, I'm going to show you... Where is it? Here it is. Let's see if I can turn it on without having to... There. So we're going to zoom the camera out and I'm going to show you where I have these beautiful crystals and the lights on this beautiful painting. There we go. Just do it kind of slow so it doesn't... There. Now, I do have the lights on and... The majority of the area that has the lights are like right here and in here. There's a few right here. There's no drills there right now, but I'm just going to move this over here a little bit. The star on the Christmas tree is lighted and it looks really, really nice with those crystals on there. I'm going to turn this light off and see if that might kind of give us a little bit more there, so you can get an idea of what it's going to look like. Move this there. So what I have done is I've swapped out these colors here, and they are the um, sun golden crystals, and they look really, really nice in person. Unfortunately, the camera's really not picking that up very well. Let's see if I can bring it up. Well, I don't think that's really going to do much. Um, but also a lot of the darker blue crystals here are also the crystal drills. And I believe I'm using the AB Sapphire. 
and the light AB Sapphire. Really, really pretty. And then when you go down here into the trees, I'm using some of the AB Flamingo and the, oh geez, I know I'm gonna forget them. Um, oh, citra, uh, Citrine and through here to give it that, the yellow effect. Uh, and then also I've been putting in some sparklers that I have, and that really gives it an, just a, a touch more sparkle and shine on those. So really pretty. There's not a whole lot in the tree um, right now because a lot of the tree here, what you're swapping out is basically what we would consider Christmas bulbs. So when this is all put together, I'm gonna to be really, really excited to see how this turns out. Now again, a lot of the blue or the darker sections here are gonna be with the crystals as well. And I think it's gonna give it a lot of shine and shimmer once this is completed. So very excited with this painting. It is turning out really nice. And I'm very pleased with everything about it other than the two symbols that I was telling you about. So we're just gonna cover this back up and turn off the light. There we go. So again, this is the Christmas LED diamond painting from Hulican, and I will continue to share some updates with this painting as we go along. All right, so we're gonna take this off. All right, so you kind of have an idea of what I'm going to be showing you as a post review. And this felt like I know, oh, here it is. Sorry, I got, I felt something in here and, and it's still on the canvas. Just a second, I am so sorry. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera again, bring it up so that you can see the entire painting and we'll be right back. All right, everyone, we are back, and this is the Indian Peafell from the Diamond Art Club. This is a post review that I probably should have done a few months ago, and I just could never get a really good shot of this painting. You know, honestly, this painting looks so good in natural light, and in artificial light, it doesn't look bad, but it really doesn't show the sparkle and shine from the drills. So I did take some video outside so that you can take a look and I will be inserting it right here. So as you're watching this, um, I'm just gonna go over some details of this just drop dead gorgeous painting. If this is a painting that you've had on your wish list for a while, I'm hoping that when you see it in natural light and seeing all the sparkle and shine, that that will convince you to purchase this painting. Although I will say right now, this painting is currently out of stock, but I am telling you, if this is the painting that you really want to do, and once it comes back into stock, I would highly, highly recommend that you jump on that. So let me go over the details of this painting and then we're gonna go over everything that was done to it. Um, this is an 83 by 55 centimeter full round drill. It has 37 colors and two AB accents. But as I said, if you've been following me for a while, you know I like to swap out those drills and put just a little bit more sparkle in this painting. So what I've done is I've swapped out quite a few of the blues and the aquas um, or I guess you could also call them turquoise and put in those crystal drills. So let me show you where I've actually swapped out the drills, um, the regular drills with the crystals. And you're gonna find them in the body of the bird as well as the head and the headdress or the headpiece. And I've also swapped out regular drills for the crystals in the eye of the feathers. Now, in the eye of the feathers, you also have the AB drills, which with 
both of them sitting next to each other really adds a ton of sparkle. So very, very excited to show you those. Now also I wanted to let you know that I had absolutely no major issues putting this painting together. The drill field and the legend is crystal clear and easy to follow. So if you're new to diamond painting and this painting is something that you're considering doing, you will have a fairly easy time putting this one together. Just know though that it is a very big painting and it may take some time to put together, if you're new, of course. Also wanted to let everyone know that there is confetti around this general area of the bird but once you get out of this, the majority of it is what I would consider very respectable confetti. Now the reason why I say that is because you're still able to use your multi-placer basically throughout the entire painting, including in here. So it's not horrible confetti or, you know, pull your hair out confetti. It's, it's, still reasonable and you can use your multi-placer as you're working on your project. All right, so by saying that everyone, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Is this a painting that you're considering or is it on your wish list? So by saying that everyone, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know by giving me that thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you're new to the channel or just stopping by, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. If you do decide to subscribe, please don't forget to hit the bell that is right next door to that subscribe button. That bell's going to let you know when I've uploaded my next video. So everyone, by saying that, if it is morning for you, have a very pleasant morning. If it's afternoon for you, have an excellent rest of your afternoon. And if it's evening for you, have a very relaxing evening. Again, my name is Janae, and thank you for joining me today on The Review. We'll talk again real soon. Take care, everyone, and bye for now.